Hey YouTube, BM here. Just want to do a little review on this refractometer I got today. It's made by Cybon. Um, doesn't really come with a lot of directions, so I, I seen it being used at my f local fish store, so I was able to follow up on it and uh, learn a little bit about it before I bought it. So, but I, I definitely recommend it. If you do get it, it's like fifty dollars for the for the case comes with uh, the unit itself this um, little like turkey baster type deal that you get the water out with and uh, just a little uh, one tiny screwdriver to calibrate it and I heard calibration I'm thinking you know like a lot of us do a oh, pain in the ass you know but it's really it's it's so simple I mean to calibrate it you put two drops on it and and dial it in it's easy so easy it's fun but a little cloth to wipe it down with, real soft, and little microfibers. Um, but if you do get it, just make sure you get the the special solution. You get out the special sauce here. That's like another fifteen dollars. But as you can see, it, it two drops. I mean, that's just to calibrate it. it lasts forever. But good stuff. Um, plus the directions are more or less on this. Uh, like I said, it doesn't really come with much. That's the only downfall. But very accurate. Um, one of the reasons why I got it, I, I wanted to get one anyways. I was familiar with it. Um, J Madden 184, I believe it is. Uh, you guys gotta check his channel out. But he knows his reef tanks got real nice. He mentioned it too, so um, that kind of threw me over the edge, and I did get it. But I was using uh, the hydrometer to measure my salinity. Uh, and pretty pretty accurate. Um, a lot of us have them. I'm gonna keep it for backup, but it's just, uh, I mean, th this just takes the guesswork out of it. It's dead nuts. Um, these, I think, vary a little bit. You gotta get it just right. It's gotta be level. You gotta guess with a line. It's just, it, with the nano tank where it's gotta be so accurate and there's some fluctuation, I want it to be dead nuts. So I, I, I got the refractometer, but uh, the good thing about the uh, refractometer is with this, you just barely dip it in. I mean, it, just dip it in enough to suck out a couple of drops that's it so you're not really stressing out the fish you're not getting your whole hand in there or anything I mean this here you gotta pretty much submerse it or get water out and dump it in it whatever you gotta do so this is a lot easier cleaner um, you don't really have to stick anything in the water and then I did pick this up just the hell of it before I bought the refractometer it's just a little mini uh, hydrometer um, save you money guys piece of crap it's made to go inside the tank leave it in there and get a quick glimpse and see what your uh, your salinity is it's got the little bubble level right in there suction cup thought it'd be pretty cool but in a way you know it's a distraction I don't want to look at that I want to look at my coral um, so and it's 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 off it's it's four degrees off from this and this is this fluctuates one or two in either direction from from this so plastic crap out that's going to the dump that's that's garbage that was like 15 bucks junk don't even waste your money on it this is all right good backup i mean i'm not gonna throw it out i'm gonna keep it but i doubt i'll ever use it not when i have this um real real fine tool real easy to use like i said you put a couple of drops right right, right on here shut it just give it a couple of taps and you look through it, it and it's, it's a nice piece nice heavy solid it's um you know it's a fine instrument it's almost like looking through a telescope but it comes in a nice case that's uh you know it's a nice foam cushion but anyways refractometer guys i uh highly recommend it if you guys are into salt i mean it costs a little bit but it's i i think it's worth it but anyways thanks for watching guys